टुडे लेट्स स्टार्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर रूट ऑफ़ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ़ माइनस वन स्क्वायर रूट माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर रूट माइनस फाइव दिस आर इमेजिनरी नंबर्स आई इज़ इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट माइनस वन दिस इज़ कॉल्ड आयोटा दिस नेम इज़ गिवन आफ्टर द ग्रीक लेटर इफ आई इज़ इक्वल टू Square root of minus one, then i square will be minus one. If i equal to square root minus one, then i square will be. If we square this, then we get minus one. I cube is equal to i square into i. It can be written as i square into i. This i square is equal to minus one, so minus one into i is equal to minus i. I to the power four is equal to square of i square. Square of i square, but i square equal to you know that minus one, so i square equal to minus one minus one square that is equal to one. Now how can we find i to the power nineteen? This i to the power nineteen we can write it as i to the power four to the power four, that is i to the power sixteen into i cube. So i to the power four. Just now we found out the value of i to the power four that is equal to one. So i to the power four is equal to one. One to the power four into i cube is equal to i cube is equal to minus i. So one to the power four into minus i that is equal to minus i. In the same way, i to the power minus nine 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 can be written as one over i to the power nine 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 that is equal to one by i square to the power four nine eight into i to the power three that is i square. To the power four nine eight, that is equal to i to the power nine nine six plus three, that is i i to the power nine nine nine. Now i square is equal to minus one. Minus one to the power four nine eight is one into i cube. This value of i cube is equal to minus i. So one into minus i, one over minus i. We multiply the numerator and denominator by i. We get i over minus i square. I square is equal to minus one. Minus of minus one is equal to one. So i over one is equal to i. Square root of minus two into square root of minus five. If we write it as square root of minus two into minus five, that will be wrong. It cannot be for the imaginary numbers. For imaginary numbers, we cannot write it like this. Square root of minus two into minus five. So this is wrong. So in fact, what will be there? Actually, it is written as square root of minus two into square root of minus five is equal to. Root two into i. This can be written as root over minus one into root two. So root two into root over minus one is equal to i. Root two into i plus this can be also written as root five into root square root minus one. That is root five by square root of minus one is equal to i. So root five by is equal to root two into root five is root ten and i into i square is equal to minus one. So minus root ten. Now what is a complex number? A number of the form a plus i b is called a complex number. A number of the form z is equal to a plus i b. Z is equal to a plus i b is called a complex number. What are a and b? A and b belongs to R, and I is equal to square root of minus one. So this z is equal to a plus i b is called a complex number. Or this z can be written as a plus i b. This can be written as A B, A comma B within that end. Where A is the real part, that is real Z, and B is the imaginary part, that is that can be written as I M within back end Z. Z equal to A B equal to that can be written as A plus I B. We are now discussing what is conjugate of a complex number. So z equal to a b, that is equal to a plus i b. Then z bar is equal to a minus b, that is equal to a minus b, a minus i b. What we have done? Simply we have changed the sign of i. If it is plus here, we will write minus. If it is minus here, we will write plus. 
then this z and z bar means a plus i b and a minus i b are said to be complex conjugate of each other. They are said to be complex conjugate of each other. Simply, we have to change the sign of i. If it is plus, we will put minus. If it is minus here, we will put plus. Where, this is very important to keep in your mind, where a and b are real numbers, i is equal to square root minus 1, and b is not equal to 0. b will never be equal to 0. Now, we will try to understand this conjugate of a complex number geometrically. Suppose, suppose here z is a complex number a plus ib, then z bar, z is a complex number a plus ib, this is a and this is b. Then z bar is the mirror image then z bar is the mirror image of z, z ka mirror image, z bar of z along the real axis on argon plane. So what I told that z bar is the mirror image of z along the real axis on argon plane. So z is equal to, suppose if, if z is equal to minus a minus ib, then z bar is equal to minus a plus ib. If z is equal to minus a minus ib, then z bar is equal to minus a plus ib. Means this z is equal to minus a minus b then z bar is equal to minus a b. See the coordinate. Minus a minus b. Where will be minus a minus b? Minus a minus b. If z is here, minus a minus b. Then z bar is equal to minus a plus b. So minus a plus b will be here. So see, if z lies in the first quadrant, then z bar lies in the fourth quadrant, first, second, third, fourth quadrant. So if z lies in the first quadrant, then z bar lies in the fourth quadrant. Similarly, if z lies in the second quadrant, if z lies in the second quadrant, then z bar lies in the third quadrant. Now, suppose z is equal to 2 plus 3i. So z is equal to 2 plus 3 2 comma 3 will be here, 2, 3 will be in the first quadrant. Then z bar will be change the sign of i. So it will be it will be 2 minus 3i. Change the sign of i. It is plus here, so it will be minus. Z bar is equal to 2 minus 3i. So it can be written as 2 comma minus 3. So 2, 3 is here. And 2 comma minus 3, 2 minus 3 will be here. So if z lies in the first quadrant, z bar will lie in the fourth quadrant. This is the geometrical interpretation. Similarly, if z lies in second quadrant, then z bar will lie in the third quadrant. Suppose z, z is equal to minus 6 minus 2y. Minus 6 minus 2y. Then z will be this. Minus 6 minus 2y. If z bar is equal to minus 6 plus 2y. Suppose if z is equal to minus 6 plus 2y, then z bar will lie here. Okay, so if z is equal to minus 6 minus 2i means minus 6 minus 2, minus 6 minus 2, then z bar is equal to minus 6 plus 2i, that is minus 6 comma 2, it will lie here. Next, we will go for modulus and argument, modulus and argument, modulus of z is equal to x plus i y is mod z is equal to root over x square plus y square. Now, we write directly, if a complex number is given in the form of z is equal to x plus y, that you write that mod z is equal to square root x square plus y square. But, we will 
try to understand it geometrically. This is real axis and this is imaginary axis. Suppose z is equal to x plus i, suppose p x y. Here you have taken this point p x y. So this is x and this is y. Then the length of OP, this length, length of OP is called the modulus of Z. This length is called the modulus of Z denoted by mod Z is equal to, that is equal to R means what is the, whose length, length of OP which is equal to square root of, OP is equal to square root of x square plus y square. So this length is called the modulus and here this angle theta, this angle theta is called the argument or amplitude of z, the argument or amplitude of z. If, if xy not equal to 0, 0 means this xy cannot come, cannot coincide with 0, 0, then theta is equal to what? Then here tan theta is equal to see tan theta since tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to y over x in this triangle tan theta equal to y over x so theta is equal to tan inverse y by x tan inverse mod y by x this theta is the argument this theta is called the argument so the argument of z is theta equal to tan inverse mod y over x. Now, we will discuss it in different quadrants. Suppose z is equal to x plus i y, this is the complex number and here x is greater than 0, y is greater than 0 means this lies in the p x y lies in the first quadrant. Let theta be the argument of z. Let theta be the z is equal to x plus i y, z is equal to x plus i y. And let theta be the argument of this complex number. Let alpha be an angle, let alpha be an angle satisfying the condition tan alpha is equal to mod y by x. Suppose alpha, let alpha consider alpha an angle, an acute angle satisfying the condition tan alpha is equal to mod y by x. Then from the figure we can say that theta is equal to alpha, here theta is equal to alpha is equal to tan inverse mod y by x. Now this will be more interesting in figure number 2. In this figure z is equal to x plus i y, z is equal to x plus i y, where x less than 0, x less than 0 means x will come to this side, x less than 0 negative and y is greater than 0, means this point pxy lies in the second quadrant. So argument of z is what? Here argument z is theta is equal to pi minus alpha, pi minus alpha, this is pi minus pi minus alpha, this is the argument. So what is alpha? Alpha we know that tan alpha is equal to tan inverse mod y by x. So alpha is equal to tan inverse tan alpha is equal to what? Y, this is y and this is the x. So tan alpha is equal to y by x. So alpha is equal to tan inverse y by x. So what will be? Theta argument pi minus alpha. That is alpha is equal to how much? Tan inverse mod y by x. Now in the next case we will go when this point will lie in the third quadrant. Here z is equal to x plus i y, x less than 0, y less than 0. Means if x less than 0, x negative, y less than 0, y negative, then p x y lie in the third quadrant, p x y lie in the, lies in the third quadrant, and tan alpha is equal to same as we discussed in point number 1 and point number 2, tan alpha is equal to mod y by x. So what will be the argument? Argument will be theta is equal to this is alpha. So theta will be equal to minus pi minus alpha or you can say 
minus pi plus alpha. Same. This can be written as also minus pi minus pi plus alpha. Or it can be written as minus pi minus alpha. Minus within bracket pi minus alpha. Pi minus alpha. Or you can say minus pi plus alpha. So this is the argument of J. When P lies in the third quadrant, when P lies in the fourth quadrant, then X is greater than 0 and Y is negative. Y is less than 0. X greater than 0 and Y is negative. So Y less than 0. So PXY lies in the fourth quadrant. Now what will be argument? The argument will be argument theta is equal to here minus alpha. Theta is equal to minus alpha. Now let us come to some questions. Suppose the question is given find the modulus and argument of Z is equal to minus 2 plus 2i into root 3. So modulus Z is equal to, we know modulus Z is equal to, if Z is, if Z is in the form of a plus ib, it is in the form of a plus ib or x plus iy, then modulus Z is equal to root over of x square plus y square. So x is here minus 2, minus 2 square plus i ko chhod ke kya hai 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 whole square which is equal to 4 plus 4 plus uh, 12 that is equal to 6 square root 16 that is equal to 4. So modulus z is equal to 4. Now alpha at first we have to find alpha. Alpha is equal to tan inverse we know mod tan inverse mod y by x that is equal to tan inverse mod what is the value of y it is in the form of x plus i y x plus i y so tan inverse y y is what except i the coefficient of i is 2 root 3 so 2 root 3 over what is x x is minus 2 so 2 to cancel so we get tan inverse mod of minus root 3 that is tan inverse root 3 mod of minus 3 mod of minus root 3 can be written as tan inverse the <coughs> negative sign will be removed tan inverse root 3 which is equal to tan inverse root 3 is equal to tan inverse tan root 3 is the value of tan pi by 3 tan 60 degree so tan inverse tan pi by 3 this will be removed and it will get pi over 3. So alpha is equal to pi over 3. Now we have to see that here the real z, the real z, real z is equal to what? Real z is equal to minus 2. That is negative. Real z is minus 2. That is less than 0. And imaginary z, imaginary z is equal to how much? 2 root 3. Imaginary z is equal to 2 root 3. That is positive. Greater than 0. So x is greater than 0. x is greater than 0. x is greater than 0. And uh, sorry, x is less than 0. Negative. x is less than 0. And y is greater than 0. x less than 0. y greater than 0. Then argument of z. Argument of z theta is equal to what? Then theta will be equal to pi minus alpha. Theta is equal to pi minus alpha. In which quadrant it lies? X less than 0. X negative. And X negative and Y positive. Means X negative, Y positive. The point will lie here. The point will lie here. So this, equal to, this is alpha. This is alpha. So this will be pi minus alpha. So theta is equal to pi minus alpha that is pi minus alpha is equal to how much just we got alpha is equal to pi over 3 so if we simplify pi minus pi by 3 we will get 2 pi by 3 here z lies z lies in which quadrant c So mod z is equal to 
in this case mod z is equal to square root root over minus 3 root 3 whole square plus minus 1 whole square because we know if it is in the form of x plus i y then modulus z is equal to square root x square plus y square here x is minus root 3 plus i y so y is minus 1 so we get after simplifying we we'll get this is square root 4 that is equal to 2 mod z is equal to 2 now tan alpha tan alpha is equal to tan alpha is equal to mod y by x mod y by x that is equal to mod y by x so what is y here what is y here so we can write it as alpha equal to this implies alpha is equal to tan inverse mod y by x that is equal to tan inverse mod y by x y is how much y is minus 1 by minus of root 3 y is minus 1 and x is minus root 3 that is equal to tan inverse tan inverse 1 over root 3 tan inverse 1 over root 3 that is equal to tan inverse 1 over root 3 is equal to tan inverse tan pi by 6 that is equal to pi by 6 that is equal to pi over 6 so alpha is equal to pi over 6 now see real z means x real z is what x is what negative here real z is real z real z that is x is negative and imaginary z imaginary z imaginary z that is y what is y y is also negative y is also negative x and y both are negative so it will lie in which quadrant it will lie in the x negative y negative it will lie in the third quadrant it will lie in the third quadrant so in this case in the third quadrant in the third quadrant the argument will be theta is equal to theta is equal to we have learnt theta is equal to minus of pi minus alpha minus of in this quadrant my, this is alpha this is alpha so this angle will be minus of pi minus alpha so this angle will be from here to here this angle will be minus of pi minus alpha now after putting the value we will get minus pi minus alpha is equal to what alpha is equal to pi over 6 after simplifying we will get minus 5 pi by minus 5 pi by 6 this is the argument next question in that question find the modulus and argument of z is equal to 2 root 3 minus 2y so mod z is equal to mod z is equal to square root of x square plus y square in place of x 2 root 3 so x square this is x plus i y in the form of x plus i y so in place of x 2 root 3 and plus y plus y square in place of y minus 2 so this is equal to square root of 12 plus 4 16 that is equal to 4 so we got mod z is equal to 4 now alpha is equal to alpha is equal to tan inverse mod y by x alpha is equal to tan inverse mod y by x that is equal to tan inverse mod what is y y is equal to minus 2 by x is equal to 2 root 3 so that is equal to tan inverse 2 to get cancel mod minus 1 by root 3 that is tan inverse that is tan inverse tan mod of minus 1 by root 3 is equal to plus 1 by root 3 that is tan inverse tan 1 by root 3 is equal to tan pi by 6 that is equal to pi by 6 so we got the value of the value of alpha is equal to pi over 6 now here real z real z that is x is real z is 2 root 3 positive greater than 0 and imaginary z that is y that is y 
this is negative minus 2y, y is equal to minus 2, this is negative less than 0. So see, x greater than 0 and y is less than 0. So in what quadrant this point will lie, this z will lie, z will lie in the fourth quadrant and in this case theta is equal to minus alpha, therefore theta is equal to minus alpha, this will lie in the fourth quadrant, x greater than 0, this is x greater than 0 and imaginary z, y less than 0, means y will be in this direction, so the point will lie here, somewhere here, somewhere here. So in this case, when it lies in the fourth quadrant, we know that theta is equal to minus alpha, that is equal to minus alpha minus of value of alpha is pi by 6 minus of pi by 6. This is the argument. Theta is the argument. Please uh, remember that this theta, this theta must lie between 0 and 2 pi. 0 less than equal to 0 less than equal to theta. Theta is always less than 2 pi. We have to keep in our mind. This is where 0 less than equal to theta. Theta is less than 2 pi.